So today I'm with Amy in uh, Tucson, Arizona. Amy, how old are you? 27. Amy, where are you originally from? Portland, Oregon. How long have you been here in Tucson? About almost five years now. Um, how long have you been using blues? About two years. So two years ago, what happened to cause you to start using blues? I, my, my mom passed away and I just lost it from there. And uh, in Portland, it's uh, pretty bad down there too, right? Uh, just a lot of homelessness and, uh, and... He left a week before we got out here on the Greyhound and I wasn't able to get in contact with him. So when we got out here, I didn't know he was gone already. So we became homeless. Does, you, uh, does the rest of your family know that you're out here in Tucson? Uh, not all of them, some of them. How do they feel about you being out here? Uh, they, it's my choice, they say. If I want to go back home, they'll help me, but I don't, I don't want to go back home. Have you ever tried professional treatment, Amy? Um, no, not yet. And, uh, what dangers are you exposed to being out here in Tucson and, and, uh, just living out here on the streets? Um, what do you mean by that? I... Uh, so like in Phoenix, uh, a lot of people, you know, there's, you know, there's uh, arguing, people take your stuff. Oh yeah, people taking our stuff, yeah, been fighting. And, uh, would you say you've hit rock bottom or not yet? Not yet. What does rock bottom look like for you? When we're basically at the very end you know where we need we need to get help when you need to get help so right yeah. now you don't need help no not right now okay and uh on your chin uh, is that a burn or no it started out with a little sore dude and i keep picking at it dude and every time it gets close to being healed i pick at it more dude and then now it's i have a picking problem dude i can't I can't stop myself from picking. He's the only person that can help me stop picking, dude. Yeah. It, did that picking come with addiction, or you have yeah. that always? Yeah, uh, with the addiction. Um, what happens is that uh, that's like a common thing mm -hmm. I, I've noticed um, from folks that are battling addiction. Mm -hmm. uh, that picking at the face uh, is that like a like a, just like a little habit what do you think i think it has to do with the blues uh, kind of and I, that's just my my thought because I, I ever since i started doing blues i started picking i don't know what it could be but yeah how many pills do you do per day like 10 all together but i don't smoke them by myself though if i smoke one like by myself it'll be one or two a day so that's not bad uh i've talked to people that do 50 or 100 a day yeah just different levels of tolerance you think yeah and uh do you know if uh, blues are in portland i'm not sure and uh what advice would you give to young people out here amy there's a uh, 13 14 15 year olds out here in the streets of phoenix and tucson uh, i've been told what, what what are your thoughts on that you try to go home to your family you know, and don't get yourself mixed up with booze. It's, it's not it's not an addiction that you really want. And once you start doing them and you really end up being able to be sick on them, it's not going to be a feeling that you really want. I've lost my family to blues, dude, and I've almost lost my husband. I've lost my kids. It's not a good feeling that anyone wants. Just a terrible, uh, just lots of loss, right, with this addiction? Yeah. Well, uh, what else do you have to lose? Nothing right now. Well, besides my husband and my animal, that's all I have left. What about your life? In my life, yeah. Amy, if you weren't battling this addiction, what would you be doing with your life right now? I'd be going to I wanted to go to school to be a veterinarian before I started to go down on the downhill. You love animals? Yeah. Uh, what 
before you save animals, you got to save yourself, though, right? Yeah. So maybe that maybe that'll happen soon, huh? Yeah. Um, a lot of people tell me that there's like a trauma that they're trying to mask or cover with this with these blues. Is there a trauma that you're trying to uh, numb? No. No. Okay. You had a pretty good childhood. Yeah. Okay. And uh, in the next six months, where will you be? What will you be doing, Amy? Um, I'm on the streets probably, but trying to get into housing because we're on a housing list right now. list for like the city of Tucson? Or? Yeah, like in Tucson and Jackson. Uh, it's right in Guadalupe, a place we go to eat every morning. And what do they do? What's the program? You just We just get put on a list and, and hopefully we get called soon. But my husband's autistic, dude, so we he got on his own list. If he gets in housing before I do, I can go with him or I can when I get housing, he can go with me. So, yeah. Do, are there any requirements for housing? No. No requirements? They let you just smoke? No, you can't smoke, but you're not allowed to smoke. At least not in the house, no. Okay, so it's like a it's like a group home? Kind of, yeah. For like couples and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay, so uh, Amy, I'm going to say uh, thank you very much for talking to me. I really appreciate you. The whole purpose of this channel is to create prevention through awareness by you having the courage to share your story uh 14 year old amy at home that's struggling with issues trauma rebellion whatever she's gonna watch this and she'll be like man i'm, I'm gonna stay away from blues somebody offer me blues i'm gonna say no because i don't want to lose everything right so uh again thank you very much for being courageous and sharing your story okay i really hope that very soon you find housing, you go to detox, you get well, you live the life that you deserve, okay, Amy? Yes. Thank you very much, stay safe, and we'll talk soon, okay? All right.